Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I did this Valentine's Day inspired nails. So for this look, I'm using Long Hair Pretty Nails Pixie Peach Clear and Rose Pink Acrylic. Tammy Taylor's White is White acrylic and this Fuchsia Fine Glitter and I will leave links down below to everything that I used. So next I'm going in with Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. I've already applied my tips and shaped them and then next I'm going in with the No Lift Nails Primer. And I'm starting off with the Pixie Peach acrylic and I'm just going to use this to build up my nail. The brush I'm using is my Alpha number no. 8 Kalinsky brush and I will leave a link down to this below. It is one of my favorite brushes. I love this size. Um, so yeah, the way that I was sitting in my chair at first, I wasn't able to see that I wasn't getting like that one side of my nail. So after shifting, I was able to see that and then I went ahead and fixed it. So yeah, those are some of the issues you get when you're trying to film your own nails. <laughs> so yeah, Pixie Peach is just a nice shimmery light peach acrylic and it is just simply gorgeous. So for the ring fingernail, I'm doing a marble nail and I'm using the Pixie Peach, the Rose Pink and the Tammy Taylor White Acrylic. And I'm just putting on wet beads of all of those and kind of just using the tip of my brush to swirl them around to create that marble look. And I kind of just work in sections until the whole nail is covered. All right, so next I'm going in with the fuchsia glitter and I'm just randomly packing it on um, just in places where I want it to be. <laughs> and what I did was kind of just use my wet brush to grab some um, because I didn't want to add any more bulk to this nail. And then I'm just going in to add more of the rose pink um, just to give it a little more dimension. And then I just add more of that glitter. I just feel like it needed more. <laughs> All right, so now I'm working on the hearts. I pick up a small bead of clear and I dip that into the fuchsia glitter. And that is how I'm picking that up. And what I'm doing is a thin layer of the glitter. And then I'm going to um, put a thicker layer of clear on top. Um, just so that I can shape and file the nail without um, filing off any of the glitter. So I'm just building that shape up of the heart 
making sure that um, the walls are pretty high and nice and crisp. So after I've created all of the hearts, I'm just going to use Pixie Peach to fill in all of the gaps. And I'm not pretty much worried about going over the hearts with the pixie peach because I will be fouling and shaping and that is going to crispen up all of this area. So don't worry about it just yet. Just make sure you pack it on nice and, well not thick, but thick enough that you're forming your nail and giving it strength and all of that. So this is how it looks after I'm done. And I'm just gonna move on to my index fingernail and build up this nail. So if you've been around this channel for a minute, you know that I used to sell an acrylic called Pixie Pink and I am working on bringing that back. Before I used to hand mix all of the colors. So now I'm working with my manufacturer and we're just trying to get the color just right before I bring it back. Um, so that will be back really soon. But in the meantime, you guys can enjoy this pixie peach. It is the perfect light peach color. For those of you who aren't into the intense pinks, I happen to love them, but I know they don't work for all skin tones. So this pixie peach is perfect.
All right, so then I'm just going to encapsulate this marble and glitter nail. And this little gap at my cuticle area was kind of bugging me so I went back in and just fixed that. Alright so this is after the nails have set and I'm going to be doing my shaping and filing. As always I like to start off with my hand file on the 100 grit side and just crisping up the shape and also smooth over the nail. And then I'm taking the medium grit safety bit from Poochie's Nails and I'm using that to file the um, heart design. And as you can see, once you get to filing, you reveal the hearts and they are going to be nice and crisply shaped. Um, but yeah, once you get to filing, then that's when your heart um, comes to life. So that's why you have to make sure that when you are shaping the heart that it is the shape that you want it to be because if not, it is not going to look like a heart once you file it. <laughs> So yeah, this is how it looks after I have filed that. So after I'm done doing my shaping and filing with the hand file, I like to go over my cuticle areas with this same drill bit. And this is just to make the cuticles nice and flush. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm going to be using jewels from these two jewel pots from Gearbest. And I'm going to be adhering my stones using the Poochie's Nails Gel Top Coat and Bling Gel. So first I like to start off with the Poochie's Nails Bling Gel. And I'm using my Alpha Gel Brush to apply a thin layer of that. And without curing, I go over top of it with the Gel Top Coat. And I like to use this combination to adhere my stones because they stay in place until I pry them off. I've never had a problem with stones falling off. So next I take a medium sized bead of clear and I place that on my nail and use that to adhere these large jewels. and also um, this pearl. And then I'm just going to apply the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat to the rest of the nails. And I cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Next I'm going in with this Navi cuticle oil that I picked up from Gearbest and it smells amazing. <laughs> so I just apply this to all of my cuticles and this is the finished look. I love how this heart design turned out. It was so much fun to make and I hope you guys enjoyed this nail design. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next one.